Hey everybody, it's JJ Kitchen from UptownGrowLab.Live. I hope everybody's doing well today and I want to thank you for stopping by for this review of something that was bred by Exotic Genetics and was grown by the House of Cultivar out here in Washington State. This is Grease Monkey, which is a cross of Gorilla Glue number no. 4 and Cookies and Cream, if I am not mistaken. Check out the close-ups that we took. Hey everybody, it's JJ from Uptown Grow Lab. We are looking at some Grease Monkey from the House of Cultivar. This is some seriously dank flower. Looks very, very nice. Smelled really nice when we cracked open the jar. Look at the purples in there. Beautiful. Now the cannabinoids on this, the total cannabinoids are only about 19... What do we got here? Total cannabinoids 19.2%. So it's really not super potent in terms of numbers but cannot wait to smoke it. It is a cross of Cookies and Cream and Gorilla Glue number four. Stay tuned for the review. Check out the live stream every evening. We love you. Cheers. It's a really pretty bud structure. I mean, it's really nice. It's got a nice kind of funky sort of, you know, Seed Finder EU describes it as uh, vanilla jet fuel. I mean, that's not that far off. It's real interesting smell. Now, the, they call this the uh, Gas Pack Glue Trap. I don't know if you can see that. Glass Trap Glue Trap. Uh, this was tested in July. It does not say when it was harvested. Let's do a bonk it. Cheers, everybody. I love the way the smoke kind of goes up, you know. That wasn't too horrible. I mean, I'm not really coughing my brains out. The joint on the dry pull, it kind of tastes like it smells. It's sort of got that fuely kind of real turpentine-y, piney kind of thing, but to the level of gas, you know. Cheers, everybody. Grease Monkey from House of Cultivar. It's got a nice flavor. Definitely tastes like it smells. It has a strong flavor. Definitely has that gas going on. I'm feeling this like in the front of my head right now. I've been smoking this for about three minutes, maybe four minutes. Feeling it in the front of my head. The, based on the color of the ash, the flush is pretty decent. I don't know if you can see that. That looks pretty dark. It looks darker than it actually is. The weed is nice. It's very mellow. Uh, it's quiet here today. It's kind of cold in the studio, and it's, um, you know, sometimes I wonder if I should put music under these reviews. Let me know what you think about that, because sometimes I've, I get really self-conscious that it's so quiet when we're smoking. The herb is nice. It's, you know, is it super spectacular? No, but based on the appearance and the smell, those two things definitely give it nines straight across. I mean, it's a hybrid... We went on WikiLeaf to get a little bit more uh, detailed information about the Grease Monkey, because a lot of the sites, they just cite that it's exotic genetics. Uh, they bred Kimbo Kush. They bred a lot of, a lot of so-called, you know, real popular or hype strains in the last several years. They've really gotten a lot of popularity, and their, their seed sales are brisk, very brisk. And WikiLeaf actually has a very long entry on it and they basically the, the bottom line is the grease monkey is good for a lazy and not particularly productive day which is kind of a if that is in fact true this is about half past nine in the morning it's not quite a wake and bake for me but it is uh, the beginning of the work day seriously and uh, we'll see what happens maybe it'll help me edit my videos better I don't know it is a, a, a nice buzz it's I think I can be fully functional on this I mean based on my consumption. This is not going to slow me down too much. It may space me out now and again, you know. I may forget why I walked into a room to get something. I can't remember what that is, but that's kind of an everyday occurrence for me anyways. So I'm not really sweating it.
it's a nice strain. It makes me feel good. I can feel it in my chest. I feel it in my head. Is it earth shattering? No, it's probably, you know, again, like I said, the appearance, the smell, those are definitely nines. The effect for me, seven and a half to eight and a half. I mean, it's good weed. Don't get me wrong. Uh, and I don't think we paid a lot of money for this. I think this is very reasonably priced. I may even have been about 10 bucks a gram as how it shook out. I don't really remember, but that may be it. I, I have a vague recollection that this was a very fair price for what it is. And, you know, for that price, for 10 bucks a gram, this is excellent weed. It's very, very good. Grease Monkey from it's a cross of cookies and cream and Gorilla Glue number four. The original breeders are exotic genetics. This is from the House of Cultivar. If you are interested in seeds, we have a full genetics seed bank of feminized and regular seeds. So drop me a note at uptowngrowlab at gmail.com. Please, please, please check out the mobile application. Otherwise, check out the live stream every evening at 8 p.m. and stay lifted. Roll your bongs, charge your spleefs, and light your vapes. And we'll see you on the next one. Cheers, everybody. Well, we went on WikiLeaks. I mean, WikiLeaf. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hey, everybody. We are looking at a flower of something called Squirt, grown by our friends at High Desert Flower. Uh, their motto is Elevated Cultivation. It is a beautiful-looking flower. I mean, this is a really a small one, and she got kind of squished in transit. But look at those beautiful purples in there. And she smokes really nice. We're going to do a strain review of her on the channel. So be sure to check it out. We love you. Stay lifted. Don't forget to tune into the live streams every evening at 8 p.m. on YouTube. Cheers.